This video contains content sponsored by John Wilson Blades and MK Blades. Opinions discussed in this video do not reflect the views of John Wilson or MK. Hello and welcome to The Skating Lesson. I'm Jennifer Kirk. And I'm Dave Lees. And we're very excited because we're back in the competitive swing of things. This week we have four continents coming up, so we wanted to record a preview show, but pause. Before you watch this, you need to head over to bit.ly slash 4cc fantasy, 4cc fantasy, like four, four continents. And you need to put in your pick so that you can play fantasy with us for a chance to win a $200 prize pack, all of Diva Wagner's favorites, and you can be Team Jenny and win again. Okay. <laughs> Moving well, on. Let's discuss the event. I have to say, I'm pretty excited that the event is coming. We haven't had a competition in a couple of weeks, and like I'm ready to go. And you this. know what I was thinking? Because it's in Asia, and worlds were in Asia last year. I kind of miss the getting up like half asleep at 3 a.m., like watching the event. I'm, like <laughs> it's like the the sleep tweets. And then I wake up three hours later and I'm like, what did we tweet? And then I go back and I'm like, I'm very excited to live watch it with all of you this week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm ready to go. This is a little uh, nerve-wracking, I, I feel, about this competition, but I'm, I'm ready for it. But I am nervous. Okay, let's discuss, because I was, I was looking through the ladies' event. Let's start with the ladies. I'm not that nervous. I think it's going to come down to Gracie Jenny. versus Miyahara. Gracie Gold is competing. I am nervous. You don't know how it's going to go. If she does well, this is, like, the best opportunity for her. This could just, like, sail her off into worlds with momentum from nationals. But it's a risk. We're rolling the dice. Okay, so and I'm you nervous. think it's paramount that she has a Skate America, like, performance minus the double... Like, you need two clean programs here, you think, for her? I think she needs... To I think she needs to do it. And I think that this is the time. I think that this could be the new Gracie to really get the momentum going. But we, every competition this year has just been up to down to up to down that I do, you don't know. And I think if she has a bad one, are we at square one again? Or, you know, does she time need to, to break the cycle? Before? Yeah, we need to break the cycle. So I, I think that this is really her event, her opportunity. I believe that if she does well, she will beat Miyahara based on the size of her jumps, the power, the speed that she can bring. But Miyahara is very consistent. And Gracie has to know that Miyahara is probably not going to miss at Four Continents. So there's someone to really... Yeah, that's hard when you're up against a competitor who's so consistent. But one thing Gracie does have going for her, Pattern 99 Blades, just had to, had to put that in there. But I think beyond those two... I mean, medals, the bronze, or let's just say the bronze for sake of our predictions, is pretty wide open. We have Mirai. We also mm -hmm. have Hongo. I mean, not her best nationals. We expected her to probably be on the world team. Who do you have for your pick without revealing your fantasy? Who are some of the women in the mix for that bronze? <laughs> Elaine Chartrand. I mean, she's yeah. somebody who could really be up there. Yeah, Lane Chartrand, yeah, she's someone I think to look at for that bronze. I think if Mariah can rotate the jumps, she can be up there. I think Elaine has a little bit more probably transitions in her program than Mariah does. Uh, I think that that's one area where Tom needs to really focus on the points uh, is the component mark. I think that that needs to be kind of his next mission. I think with Mariah, she could lose some points internationally because of um, just the way the program is structured. But I think that she has a great opportunity uh, to get out there and hopefully do well. You know, Gabby Dalman is injured, won't be there. I uh, I have to say, though, this was an opportunity for Paulina, but apparently, you know, she didn't break do in her boots. Do you think it's new boots or do you think it's new program? I, oh, did you hear something? Or are we no, just I was just thinking this morning, I'm hoping. <laughs> um, I, I mean, she's been all over Instagram. So she was in. Stubborn, though, I, they're so doing their own thing all the time. So I feel like she didn't want to go. I mean, you know when to start breaking in your skates. And yeah, perhaps it was a, a, and I don't know, maybe she it was a dire situation where she did have to get these skates. But I think if she were to have gone and perhaps won the Peter non-Pewter after winning this event last season, which was really a statement, um, you're probably best that she stayed home with her John Wilson Gold Seal Blades. Yeah, I think, you know, I don't think she needed to go to Four Continents. I really don't. I think she needs to prepare for the World Championships, and that's more important. I think it's just the timing. Uh, did they, she could have bailed earlier. I mean, I... Yeah, I'm, it was very yeah. last minute. And I don't know who, you know, if that they decided to announce it late, and Karen Chen has known all along. I'd be very curious, you know, to know 
at what point she knew that she wasn't going to have her boots broken in on time. I imagine that Karen has known for yes. some days that I don't think that Karen was just like, hey, hopping on a plane this weekend to Asia. Uh, but I think it was just the the timing of the announcement that was so funny. Uh, I don't think that many of these skaters, I think it's a great opportunity for skaters, but for someone like Paulina, I think there's more work to do at home. I don't think that competing is the... Uh, because the, the prize money is work. nice. Yeah. If, I mean, for prize money is nice. I, you know, but I think for Gracie, this is a great opportunity, I think, in terms of... To continue that strong momentum. And and Frank did tell her that if she's first or second, she never has to go again. So I That's think incentive that... enough to go to Four Continents, <laughs> just to get it done. But I, I think, you know, beyond the ladies, they're not the exciting discipline for me. I would say the other three disciplines have more dynamic storylines. We talk about... But like I do feel that same kind of pang for Gracie competing that I do that about Carolina Costner's comeback. Like, I am... Uh, just, it's... I, get me some antacid. I'm nervous. This is... It's going to break that cycle. But what discipline is really getting you the most excited? Well, I mean, I would say it's more pairs and dance. But I think there are storylines in men. Ice dance? Ice dance. Not for you? Oh my gosh, that is like the discipline here. We have the Shibutanis versus Chalk and Bates. So this is like a really, if the Shibs are going to win, that's like... Yes. Really and then you have Weaver and Poja here. So you have con like conceivably okay. the top three teams. And then you have Hubble and Donahue versus um, Piper and Paul who have their new costumes. So it's kind of like a fight for the podium at Worlds and then the top six. Ish. Okay, all right, you're selling me on this. Uh, yes, like I was very... No, you're right. Do you think that the Shibitanis will win internationally now? See, this is the story. If I think if they win internationally, they have locked up. We just talked to Tracy Wilson, as they shouldn't have, but I think they will lock up probably a spot on the world podium if they beat... I mean, this would be a huge win for them here. Plus, have you seen Alex? Alex Shibitani is bordering on Evan Lysacek on his Instagram. Go on it. <laughs> There's not a lot I, of color on that today, page. I saw today that he was in the shades. He, you know, they're very into social media, though. But it's all, but no, it's the black and but white. I, I think there's like one color picture. Just saying. Just saying, every time I see Vera Wang's commercial for her diamond, that's in black and white, too. Just saying. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there, but I'm... Uh... I can't get over with the Evan, the skulls, and it, that, it's still heebie-jeebies. <laughs> that thing, it was like an all-white, a serial killer house. I was so I was rereading my review of Dick Button because Dick Button emailed us, by the way. And I was like, what did I say about his book? So I went to go reread it. Something about so beer. Apparently, so, <laughs> yes, because he was drinking beer on the couch. And I was like, Dick Button drinks beer? What? That was, was the most surprising thing about the book. But he described one of his hedges as like an Evan Lysacek footwork sequence. Like it's in a straight line and just allowed to run wild. <laughs> And you know what? They would save that footwork to the end of the program because it's like, okay, honey, you have your moment now. You can be crazy. Like, yeah. I don't know why we're talking. He's not even competing at this event. But let's talk about some of the men at this event. You know why doesn't he come back? You know? Yes. What's... What is he doing? So he has a really long job title for the Bureau. It sounded bullshit. But it's, he's a social he's media. He's an important so... person in the world of Bureau Wang. Yes. Very important. He's making those Nancy dresses. I don't know. What is... <laughs> All black and white. The, the Evan Lice check collection. I don't know. This is... <laughs> okay, let's just discuss, though, the men here. Patrick Kidd has to do another great short program. He needs to do both his short... triple axles in his long program. Shoma Uno, surprise winner, do we think? What's going on there? Well, you also have Dennis Ten. And how's Dennis going to do with his new program, Prokofiev's Romeo and Juliet? Excited to see that. I mean, yeah. this was Dennis Ten's moment last year. To really turn it around. And then I think in the men, we have um, Bin, or Jin, uh, Jin, Jin Bin, Jin, yeah. <laughs> Chinese boy with Jin, oh yeah. <laughs> and then we have, I think Max, because I was doing this here, he really needs to win a pewter. I think if he wants a fight at the top six at Worlds, he needs to beat a Jin. He needs to beat some of these men, maybe a Mura. Like he has to be up there close to the podium. I think heading into Worlds, two good skates here are paramount. Yeah, I really am going to focus on how the components are judged. Because the way I look at it is that you have three really balanced skaters that are fighting for the title with um, Shoma Uno, Patrick Chan, and Dennis Ten. And if they skate well, I really i am going to struggle with um, the components that Jin gets. I know he's doing four quads 
in the free, and he was pretty successful at the Chinese National Games, but that, the skating is just not there, and neither are the programs. And to me, how is that going to stack up? Because for Worlds, I'm like, are we all just going to attempt all quads, get the points, and place higher than we should pause? Yeah. Adam Rapon is doing two quads at Worlds, two different quads. What do we think about mm -hmm. this? I mean, talking about quads. Has he ever story. rotated one? Yeah, that's what we were talking about. Has he ever, let us know, this is maybe a trivia question. I think perhaps at like a Neville Horn or Finlandia last season, he may have done the quad toe and missed the triple axle in a short program. And it was clean? I don't know, tell us, somebody out there knows this. So, all right, anyway, I digress. I mean, I've seen Adam saying. try different quads. We've seen him, I've seen him like train at quad toe. I remember once at Liberty, he was doing it in the monitoring and it was about as rotated as his quad lutz. Um, his quad lutz in training was looking looks better than when we saw it at competition at nationals. Yeah, it was looked, good in September when we saw it. It didn't look as good at nationals when we saw it, you know, but there's the pressure and the, you know, of competition there. I don't, I mean, he's attempted a quad sal before, uh, but it's, I don't know if you can just like throw quads in at the last moment. And I know Raphael is aggressive. Well, it was but interesting I because he was so adamant he basically dominated, and understandably, he won the event. That press conference, the long after the long program, and his story, and he was sticking to it, was you don't need to do all these quads. There's so many more aspects of the sport that really need attention, and he was capitalizing on that. So I was shocked when I heard that he was going to do quads. But good, if he can do it. If he can do it, good. But I, it is a risk in the sense that he is so consistent, and he banks on that consistency to get the points. If he doesn't go for it, he is risk, you know, really getting buried at the world championships with all the quads that the other men are doing. But if you go for the quads and miss and under rotate, you can really kind of lose Mess a lot of points. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to watch that, but we won't see him. And this would be a great chance for him to yeah, test to try it out. it out. I don't. I don't know. But I'm, I do like what Tracy said about having five weeks before Worlds mm -hmm. to really train and get ready. If you go to Four Continents, you don't have that. And I think that that is a risk of going. So it, that's, you know, one of the things that you have to weigh here. But I, I think uh, for Adam, yeah, he can have five weeks to put those quads in that we haven't seen yeah. before to add all of them in. But I'm curious what's going to happen with that. I'm Look, we're getting up to go to that practice. You know, like, look, every practice at Worlds, we are there, honey, because I, I want to see um, what he is going to do. I'm very excited uh, for that. But, you know, we have Ross Minor here, uh, who's going to be, uh, and Grant. So it's going to be interesting to see how they yeah, stack. I think it's really, my focus is just on Chan. I think he has to do two really strong performances, a better long program that he did at Nationals, if he wants to have any talk of top two in the world, you know, be in that metal mix. Um, so that's kind of where I'm focused on him and his MK Phantom Blades this week. Yeah, I'm also focused on Dennis Ten. For me personally, just you love his skating, yeah. I do love his skating, but he had kind of a dark vibe at the beginning of this season. Then it looked like he turned it around at a senior B in about December. So I think you never know what to expect from Dennis Ten. He liked my profile photo. Oh, he did. Yeah. Oh, yes. Hi. Okay. Oh, the one with the heart and the. No, that was my Valentine photo. My profile photo is just like... It was a photo. It was a photo. Oh, Jenny. yeah. I was like, oh, no. Yeah. Did you see um, the little heart says love you on it? All like the... And you know that they made those little hearts, they say weird things now. They say like LOL, R-O-F-L or whatever. Like, yeah. I don't know if I like that. I don't like that. I, I like the classic, like be mine. Be mine. Yeah. Yeah. I, didn't, mm. I don't think they're gluten-free, though, so I had kind of an anxiety attack yesterday. Are Doritos gluten-free? Yes. I've always watched they're that corn. when I'm around you. Corn. Okay. Yes, corn chips. They are one of, like, most chips are gluten-free, um, except yeah. barbecue-flavored chips. They sometimes See, wheat. See, no, people no. think that we both are eating the candy constantly. No, it's just but me. It, yeah, it's just yeah. her. Yeah, okay. I love the candy. Did you see that one guy who wanted me to get sick again so that I could be cracked out and caffeinated on the show? He was like, I hope he gets sick again. And I'm like, no, I'm not going back on the same No, <laughs> no. All right, let's discuss pairs, though, because we have a storyline here. We have Jillian and Bob versus Sway and Han. Is that yes. right? Who, who's your money on? What are you looking there? What well, for there? I, well, first of all, we have to see if Jillian gets the 78 in the short. Like, this is her money that she, you know, she texts, like, I need a 78 short today. And I'm like, okay, Jillian, this is, this is, you know, the number that we are going for. So I think we all have to watch the other 78. 78. 
77.91 like right like, oh that would be a killer um i'm very curious to see how they're gonna do will sui and han do the quad uh, you know the throw quad sal we saw them do it in practice at skate america it looked beautiful they didn't do it in the program they've had some injuries so i kind of don't expect them to but they're very capable of winning here especially if uh, jillian and bob have any sort of errors uh you know, I think we're going to really see how Sway and Han are going to stack up at Worlds. I think they're in the top five teams, but could they be the ones to move on to the podium? You have Sevchenko, who's knocking on the door, but to me, Sway and Han are a more complete team. They're going to have to land those side-by-side -side jumps. That's, you know, the one struggle for them. And I also notice with her, the height difference in his lifts, he's kind of like short arms. So, like, sometimes when they do their lifts... Her body is like inches away from his head. He it's needs very a buzz strange. cut. He can't have yes. like spiky hair, it like grazes. Just, just notice on one of their, I was like, whoa, that's a bad angle. But um, yeah, I'm very curious to see that matchup. I think uh, we haven't seen them a lot this season. So I'm, I'm excited yeah, to this, see them out there. This is kind of their time to start to make that splash. I'm also excited for the Americans. We have oh, Marissa yes. Mervin, but then you have the matchup again of Tara and Danny, because I think if they beat Alexa and Chris here, Sign seal delivered. I mean, that's a big move for them. And they're always so well trained. I want to see their short program again. And then you do, you have kind of the Marissa and Mervin versus the Luba and Dylan, some of the other Chinese teams. You have your team in the light blue are competing here. So yes. I think that podium is going to be interesting. Yeah, Alexa and Chris against Tara and Danny is going to be quite uh, the matchup. I think Alexa is going to be hungry. And I think a weight has been lifted now that they didn't win nationals. I think it was probably a really good thing because I, unlike their press uh, statements, I do believe that they were very concerned uh, before nationals. And I think now they can just be aggressive. I think the worst has happened. Uh, that and they live through it. Yeah. And you live through it and you skate another day. So I'll be really curious to see what happens. Will Chris land the jumps? <laughs> That's you know, what I think we're watching. Um, and I, I believe that Tara and Danny are going to skate well. I expect them to skate well. I, I, it's always hard because four continents, you don't have that much time to get up. But they have had a little bit more time than usual at four, you know, to get ready for four continents. And so if there were ever a team that's well trained, it's the two of them. Listen, Mr. Peterson is intense. I, look, he's at the I, Youth Olympics. He's not there. Oh. Amanda Avora is there. Okay. But is Amanda Vora the secret to them doing well? Because they're like inseparable, uh, Amanda. And I know this other girl came up to me at Nationals and claimed that she was Mr. Peterson's wife. Her name was Carrie. And I'm like, honey, it's Amanda Vora. Like, what are you talking about? And she was like, no. And then Jim Peterson referred to her as his Amy Schumer. So he's like, <laughs> I was like, okay, this, these are important people we need to know from Team Florida. So, yes, yeah, and please. watching them this week, excited to see him again in the Kiss and Cry. Always looks so good. But before we wrap things up, Ice Dance. Who oh, he should send now? me a birthday present. Oh, okay. Just putting that yeah. in there? Putting Just it because? out in the universe. Absolutely. I have a big birthday coming up, Jenny. We know that it's coming soon. So, um, so yeah, Ice Dance, I think that Weaver and Poche will win, but I kind of think the Shibitani's are going to get the silver. And I think they're, I think they're riding that momentum. And I think that now that the judges actually dared to do it, more judges will. I think that it yeah, just, they opened the door. It had to just happen, you know. Like it, it's been now. It's like free reign. They're national champions, and I expect them to come out ahead of Chalk and Bates um, this season. And and for the last for the next two competitions, I think it will happen. Well, How about you? I I agree. I think um, I think the Shibutani's. I think they've just been consistently riding this wave of doing very good. They stuck with their material, um, and I think Chalk and Bates. Perhaps I think they'll skate very well. It will be close, but I give the edge to the Shibutani's at this point. But you can put all of your predictions at bit.ly slash four cc fantasy. Let us know what you think. Tweet at us after you do your picks. Let us know: Are you Team Jenny or Team Dave? Now, Dave, what is your hashtag MK yeah. moment prediction for the event? What are you looking forward to the most? Well, my MK moment of the week is not from this. It's from Art on Ice. Okay. But Tell me that. My hashtag MK moment is Plashenko doing his running in place to the Jacksons as they're singing. Jenny, 
Haley needs to send us to Art on Ice next year. MK needs to sponsor us to go because Art on Ice had Jesse J singing with Lyle. I saw that. Me. Yes. And then randomly they had the Jacksons. So I'm guessing they spent a lot of money on Jesse J and they needed like an inexpensive guess, singer. Yeah, <laughs> so we just like sent like the Jackson brothers. Like Tito didn't even look look in shape for this um, particular outing. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't think he ever has been, but, you know, just seeing, like, the Jackson brothers and seeing Meryl Davis, like, boogie, and she and Charlie, we, when they have a smaller ice surface, it's a little bit um, strange. They kind of, like, dance on top of the ice and do a lot of rotational lifts, but there's not a lot of skating, but it's, they have, like, this, like, weird new way of kind of, like, skate dancing that kind of... Maybe putting in the dancing with the stars. Like kind the of, yeah. And then it's, like, a lot of rotational lifts. But she's a star. She's giving TED Talks. People think Michelle Kwan is the queen, and I'm like, no. Meryl Davis is giving, like, multiple TED Talks. Like, she really has become... And she and Gabby seem to be friends. Papa Doc. Yes. So, uh, the, uh, on Instagram, it seems like they're hanging out a lot. Yeah, on Art and Ice. Yes, and that's what I, yeah. Air Fernandez and Cizeron was there. And then my girl, Stolbova. So I loved that they weren't at Europeans. But they're doing... The but they're doing throw triples on Art and Ice. I mean... Just saying. Just saying. I don't know. So they you should know, be at Worlds. They should... It oh, seems they good. look good, okay? She's doing all of the twizzles um, that she can do. And she looks as fierce as ever. I was really excited to see her. I mean, she and like, they really, the, the Russian pair skaters really give us like that like 90s Russian ice dance diva kind of personality. I mean, I am, I'm ready. We, we're there for that practice too, Jenny at Worlds. I'm ready for our girl Stoboba. But my hashtag and him moment was seeing Plashenko and the Jackson brothers together. It was quite a match. And Haley, come with us. Let's all go next yeah, year. How about Take two yeah. trip together. Well, mine is just, I'm looking forward to in the event, seeing Gracie Gold skate again. I think she can put it together, get that focus on. I'm rooting for her to win at Four Continents. What are you guys rooting for? What's your hashtag MK moment, either from Art and Ice or that you're looking forward to at Four Continents? Leave us a comment below. Yes, and as always, we want to remind you that Oh, and are... pause, happy Valentine's Day. Oh, yes. <laughs> Parabéns, everyone, yes. We want to remind you that when you are Pusenko, run in place to the Jackson brothers, do that triple toe, ham it up, hold an edge, and, and look, look sexy. sexy. Bye guys.